Welcome back, ladies and gents. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had the opportunity to actually create a video. So I do have some time available today. So I thought I'd jump in and actually create a video for some PC players who are having issues downloading mods. Before we jump in though, if you are enjoying these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if there's a particular video you'd like to see uh, or tutorial, and um, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, so say you are gonna jump on your favorite server or download a new mod, comes up with an error. So error, the following mods cannot be downloaded. TTV equals config in this case. So one of my mods, one of my players from my community had this issue. First thing that I would be doing for a PC player is either disabling, so turn off disable or uninstall OneDrive. If you don't use OneDrive and it's safe to do so, I would probably recommend uninstalling it. Again, you know, do that, make the decision yourself. Uh, if it results in any issues to your computer, I'll leave that's on you. Uh, but I highly recommend at least disabling it or not enabling the syncing or backing up of the Armor Forger mod folder location. OneDrive has caused numerous problems that I've seen throughout the Armor Discord within my community as well. Uh, even for those who are working on in the workbench where suddenly all their folders become locked. It's because it's basically there's something to do with the way um, OneDrive has been backed up. I saw your documents been backed up through OneDrive. And it just, yeah, just causes lots of issues. So highly recommend turning it off, disabling or uninstalling OneDrive. A uh, quick Google, you should be able to find a page like this. However, I can chuck this link in the description below. Once you've done that, if you choose to do that and you're having the issues uh, still, so go into your workshop. You can either go into your downloads folder, locate the mod and go delete. Um, or you can go into your mod manager, which is usually a little slower. There we go. So you can locate the mod and then um, either I think it's hit V, put your mouse over it. Yeah, V to delete, or you can click delete here. So those mods are all located within your documents folder. So documents. So this is why OneDrive automatically backs up these locations, uh, being that it backs up documents by default. So mods are now located in documents. Uh, where are we? My games, Armor Forger, add-ons, and here are all your mods located. So after you've uninstalled it, deleted it, you can come in here and double check to make sure that mod is actually gone uh, from within your add-ons folder. Uh, could be a good little double check there to do anyway. Once you've uninstalled the mod, deleted the mod or removed it from here, it's highly recommended that you restart Armor Forger. I would probably recommend that you actually, un not uninstall, sorry, restart your PC, boot it all back up again, and then jump back in and try to download. So you can obviously go into the workshop on the right here, workshop, mods, locate the mod, whatever it is, and then just go click on it and download again. Um, however, you could just connect to the server that you've uh, been playing on and just get it to automatically download that particular version. So things to consider there is that from the workshop is going to be the latest and greatest uh, mod version. However, maybe you're playing on a server that has it rolled back for a particular reason, maybe it clashes with one of their configs. So just be wary of that, that if you download it from the workshop and then connect to your server that you're playing on, it may require to download again or you know downgrade to that previous version. Uh, yeah, so the location again for these add-ons, just at the top here. So C, users, this would be your username, documents, my games, armor forger add-ons. The same goes for your Armor Forger Experimental, it's in add-ons, and also Armor Forger Workbench. If you're working on a particular, uh, your, you know, your own mods, your own projects. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So go back over that again quickly. OneDrive, if you don't use it, uninstall it if you're not going to use it. Uh, do disable or turn it off. I'll leave it up to you. Make that decision based off your own experience. Uh, if you are going to use it, just make sure that it's not syncing or backing up the Armor Reforger mod folder location because, like I said previously, it does cause uh, quite a few issues. After that, come into your downloads folders mod manager, uninstall or delete the mod, restart Armor Reforger, or restart your PC, jump back in, and hopefully that resolves your issue. Uh, yeah, if you do uh, have any comments, questions about what you've just got over today, please uh, leave it in the comments below. Again, hit that like and subscribe and uh, appreciate your time. Have a good one.